Baby Boy Smith is finally going to the WWE Hall of Fame. We don't know the status of WrestleMania, but this is a pretty good moment in WWE history. Um, the biggest event of WWE history was that SummerSlam where he faced Bret Hart, the counter roll up, and uh, one of the best counter roll ups of all time. There were a lot of roll ups in 2019 that I remember were like Warden and like. Rock and Roll Express, and like even in AEW, oh, the counters between Sonata and JSJ with the counter, uh, I they're not school buddies, but they're like, uh, they're, they're roll ups with like bridges, which are pretty cool. Back bridges. Yeah, a lot of those counters. Um, it was famous in the 80s with Team with the British Bulldog with, with uh, Dynamite Kid who inspired Chris Benoit. They were known as the British Bulldogs. They had a storyline with Matilda, their dog. Later, as mentioned by Reliving Wrestling, which everyone knows inspired the, had some influence on the, probably Vince Russo's writing about the Big Boss Man, Al Snow dog storyline. He will later go on singles. He, he lost several times to Shawn Michaels, but it was pretty epic matches, pretty epic feuds. He would be in the Hart Foundation, the Attitude Era, started by Hart, by Bret Hart before it went to Stone Cold and then the El Rock. Rich Bullock came back to WWE after a stint in WCW where he, I forget what exactly was the story of Owen Hart or the situation was Owen Hart, but like, he was basically wrestling against Mongo. Some people said they didn't go anywhere, but I thought, I remember that feud very well because they're both big, big, tough guys. He was in the Shockmaster storyline. Where he yells in like uncut footage, he fell on his fucking horse. So yeah, he was in that storyline against Vader, against uh, Harlem Heat. I don't remember what else. Here's the storyline where he back backstabbed Diesel and joined uh, Camp Cornette. And then he feuded with Bret Hart at, with uh, tagging with Anvil Nightheart before he combined with the Hart Foundation. Yokozuna, it, it would be interesting if Yokozuna stayed in that feud, in that stable. Um, and Vader. Then he broke up. Other lines. I think they wrestled in AJPW also. Those were really epic matches. It felt like the Canada Express because they were British Bulldog guys. Um, British guys. One of the pioneers of British wrestling, the power wrestling, uh, Harry Smith Jr., uh, David Boy Smith Jr. is still wrestling, and I hope he does well. I wonder what he's up to. Uh, Georgia Smith. I don't know if she was born in Atlanta, Georgia, like in WCW or something, but it would be interesting to find out what she already said what she had to say about stuff, and then we'll hear with the rest of the Hart family and Nightheart and uh, Natalia. I mean, Natalia will say something. Brett will probably say something. And everyone else. Maybe even Shawn Michaels. I'm really curious what everyone else has to say about the British Bulldog getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. I think someone always got interviewed. Uh, Stone Cold, I think. We're going to check out that podcast and get back to you guys later with Toss Like and Subscribe.